A grove of trees forming a calm oasis. That was the inspiration behind this mosque in Cambridge. Its structure is made entirely of timber. Abdul Hakim Murad, a scholar and British convert to Islam, is the brainchild of this new landmark. Cambridge is an exceptional place, so we wanted to make an exceptional statement. So we have a number of um, recycling features, so we uh, harvest rainwater, for instance. Uh, we have uh, sedum roofs, which is a kind of grass on some of the roofs, which is uh, good for biodiversity. We have photovoltaic cells to generate electricity. Uh, we have an air source heat pump, a number of other features that indicate religion's uh, belief in pushing back against climate change, global warming, and these other consequences of human greed and materialism. Up to 1,000 people can pray in the main hall. It took 10 years to finish this project from conception to completion. And the majority of the money to build it was raised from international donors. Two thirds of it came from Turkey. It's so amazing when you walk into the main prayer hall, you feel some kind of grace descending upon you. You feel so much serenity and calm. So to be able to stand in the first row and lead the congregation in any prayer is just amazing feeling. It's so beautiful, it's so spiritual. And for residents, it's been a long time but worth the effort. To suddenly see it live, um, I, I, I thought it was, I'm still looking at a picture when I first saw it. But uh, it's, um, I think, uh, um, I don't know if you deserve it, but uh, it's, it's really a gift uh, for us, um, for people in Cambridge. It's open to people from all denominations of Islam as well as the public. It also caters to children with a soundproof room for toddlers. It's an iconic mosque in an iconic city. It's more than just a place of worship. The building's design adds to the rich culture and history of Cambridge. And by being eco-friendly, it's a nod to the state of humanity and our future on this planet. <laughs> Asad Beg, TRT World, Cambridge.